Hey everybody! I'm here today to show you how to make cold brew coffee. In this video tutorial, I'll be going over the basic steps for properly and effectively making some delicious cold brew coffee. Without further ado, let's get right into the video. Now for this tutorial, I will be using espresso coffee, um, but you can use uh, any type of coffee that you like. Uh, it's completely up to your preference, but what you want to do is you want to start off by pouring in the coffee, okay? Now, this is uh, still fairly warm coffee, but you know, it's obviously a better uh, a better use to actually use colder coffee uh, if it's refrigerated, but you can use warm coffee because we're gonna be putting an ice cube, so it's gonna cool it down anyways. So I like to start off by pouring in the coffee, and I do this precisely so I know how much coffee the, uh, to actually put in the cup, because once you start putting in ice cubes and milk and stuff, then obviously it's gonna be harder um, um, to judge how much coffee is in there and if you're monitoring your caffeine intake then you know you want to be sure of how much coffee you're using okay so I actually just put that in the cup right there we're gonna add in a little bit more I think a little bit more will will be about right okay so once you've put the coffee in the cup the next thing that you want to add in is uh, are the ice cubes so as you can see right here I put the coffee in the cup, and you can use any cup. I just like to use a glass one because it absorbs the it absorbs it very nicely and has a nice cool feel when you touch it. But you want to put in some ice cubes, okay? Now you could put in as many or as few ice cubes as you want to. I like to put in probably about four or five of them because that really, especially when the coffee is still rather warm. Um, but basically, I like to put in about four or five of them like that. We'll put in. We'll even put in another one just because we really like to cool it down. Okay, then at this point you want to add any milk or sugar that you want. Now, because this is espresso, I'm gonna add a significant amount of milk. If you are using uh, regular drip coffee, uh, like sort of percolated coffee or anything like that, then uh, you're probably gonna have to use a little bit less milk than I'm gonna use, but because this is espresso, I'm gonna load it up with a good amount of milk. Look at that goodness. Just looks delicious. You can see it just starts to really mix at this point. And then you're gonna add in any sugar that you want. Now, for myself, uh, I don't want to add in any sugar, uh, but if you wanna add sugar, at this point you're gonna add it in, you're gonna stir it. Now, what I would recommend is I like to just let it sit for a few minutes before I drink it. Uh, number one, it cools everything down to like an ice cube kind of temperature. But number two, it allows everything to mix properly, right? Because when you're drinking cold brew coffee with regular ice cubes like this, it's gonna water it down a bit, but it's not gonna be a bad thing because when it waters it down, as the ice cubes melt, it's also cooling it down. So you're gonna get a really cold temperature. Now, this is like one of my favorites for the summer months or pretty much any time I'm looking for a nice, cool, refreshing drink along with an energy boost. This is what I like to use. I mean, at the end of the day, it's a simple cold brew coffee. This is how I make it. I don't know if it's, I don't know if it's the best way, but to me, this is absolutely delicious. I like to sort of mix it around a little bit and then, you know, uh, make it basically however you want. You can use however much milk you want. You can use however much sugar you want. Uh, at the end of the day, it's your coffee and you're going to be the one that's drinking it. And that's it. That is how to make a cold brew coffee. This is a simple, simple method using things that you probably have just lying around the house. No special equipment, nothing like that. You're just taking coffee, ice cubes, milk, and potentially sugar. That's it. It's like, it's so simple and easy. And that's it. If you like this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you think down below. As a comment and of course be sure to subscribe for more great videos just like this one and that's all i have for you today thanks for watching